It's the radio segment that's threatening to not be involved with our show anymore. Uh-oh. Because it just got married, and Brooke didn't buy anything for it off of its wedding well, registry. Brooke, you have a year after the wedding date, okay? That's oh, good to know. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I go with. Great work, Brooke. <laughs> it's Laser Stories, the segment where we read weird news stories from around the globe, just like everyone else does, except we have a laser, and those other knob jobs just don't. <laughs> this first Laser story is out of Des Moines, Iowa. 24-year-old Christopher Vauchel really wanted to go drinking the other night at his favorite bar. But just one problem with that, hmm. he was broke. Oh, story of my life. Yeah. yeah, we've all been there. So, harder for guys to get free drinks at the bar, too. Yeah, way harder. Yeah. That's why on the way there, he passed by a gas station and decided to stop and then stole about $200 from the clerk. Oh, Ain't nobody got time for that. Wow. The I haven't done that yet. Why no. wouldn't you just go to the gas station and steal the beer? Yeah, beer run. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. That's it's just easier fun. to steal. <laughs> but as he was leaving the gas station, a car started following him. Oh. And when he got to the parking lot of the bar, two dudes jumped out and robbed him. <gasps> They robbed the, the robber. robber. Yes, they took the money that he just stole. Oh, oh! God. <laughs> So Christopher responded by calling the cops and telling them that he was robbed. Yeah, by... Winner! By karma. No way. <laughs> well, once they got there, they realized he was the exact same person who just knocked off the gas station. <laughs> so he was arrested for aggravated theft and probation violation. And oh, to rub man. salt in the wound, as far as we know, they did not catch the dudes <laughs> who robbed him. This next laser story is out of New York. There's a trend of repurposing old buildings in hip new ways. Yeah, it's, I think it's called gentrification. No? <laughs> Isn't that, You're making it I sound right? like a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, Brooke. It's trendy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, on the surface. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's a brand new law office that they put into an old Taco Bell. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Or like a hot new cocktail bar inside an old library. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll keep it down. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, sometimes that can be a problem. I say that because a 14-year-old girl was at a clothing store that used to be in an old bank building. And the whole dressing room area is behind the prop steel vault door. Whoa. That's kind of cool. So while she was trying on clothes, the girl's 7-year-old brother thought it would be funny to close it. And the employees had no idea how to open it. Someone put the code somewhere. Uh, or a key. Oh, no. The girl's mother called 911, and when firefighters came, they figured out the easiest way to break into the vault was to demo a hole into the side wall no. through 18 inches of brick and concrete. No. Kapoya, kapoya. Wow. Oh, my gosh. One firefighter said, we used hammer drills, the jaws of life, and our cutter. Pretty much any tool that was on our rescue truck, we used to get access. Oh, my God. Wow. In the end, it took a few hours and more than 60 first responders to make a hole big enough for her to climb through. That better have been a cute outfit she was trying on. Yeah, she's going to get that for free. She was rescued. Now, the big question everyone is wondering. Yeah. Did she buy the outfit? Yes. <laughs> and the answer, she went back for a smaller size to try that on. So she's back in the vault oh. again. <laughs> For her to get yeah, we'll yeah. get word oh. when she finally picks one out. This next laser story is out of Lebanon. They say if something is making you unhappy, only you have the power to change it. Yeah. That's why a group of Lebanese smugglers have taken oh. to the streets in protest. So what are they so upset about? The smugglers, of course, are protesting not being able to smuggle. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. I pretty isn't that illegal? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but that they're standing up against that. Okay. Yeah. Shouldn't be illegal according I, to them. Right. I have the right to break the law. <laughs> it all started last week when drivers were attempting to sneak in fuel from Lebanon to Syria, but the authorities cut off the roads at the border and would not allow them to cross. Uh, not so for you. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Now, typically the smugglers would make at least three times the price of the fuel when they sell it in Syria. So they staged a protest, and they've demanded to open the roads now because they have the right to smuggle. Oh, my God, that actually (laughs) is their argument, Jose. (laughs) So far, the Lebanese government has not budged, but that doesn't bother the opposition. Hmm. They say they're prepared to protest for the long haul, and they're even making signs. One of them says, the smuggle is real. Was clever, I'm though. on their side. Now. It was clever, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's going to get them to change the laws for sure. <laughs> this next laser story is out of Screen Time City. Ooh, I live here. How much money would someone have to pay you to give up social media forever? Wow. Oh. Forever? It'd have to be 
have to be in the millions. Ah, uh, yeah. I would say they just have to pay the salary of this job for me. Because that's the only reason really? I do it is because of this job. So in the millions, Brick is right. Really? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Same thing. And we have the answer because a media conglomerate pulled a bunch of social media users and one in five said they'd need a minimum of $1 million. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were spot on, Jose. Uh, I said millions. Oh, oh, sorry. A little more expensive. Give me two at least. <laughs> 70% said at least ten grand. Yeah. Oh, way more than that. That's 30, probably more Brooks. Thirty percent say they do it for even less than that. Ugh. So okay, most just... people fall between somewhere between ten grand and a million bucks. Is it yeah. bad that I'm judging the last group because you obviously don't have enough followers? <laughs> if you could just give it up that easy. Why are you stopping? Yeah. yeah. You don't have a blue check mark. Yeah. You don't know what it feels like to get a thousand likes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a more troubling stat from the survey. More than 40% of people said they'd rather give up their TV, their car, or even their pets than what? never go on social media again. Oh, that's so wow. sad. Wow. I can see TV because yep, you same. can still like, watch stuff on social media. But your pet? No, not the no. pet. Maybe your kids, like a... but don't <laughs> give up the pets. Yeah. I know. That's the morals. I know. I know I'm not going to give this guy up. Oh, no. Oh, that's our Can't pet. Do that. yeah. It's probably because he has a bigger social media following than I do. <laughs> I'm just joking. The sound means laser stories has come to an end for the day. We're going to do it again, same time, on Wednesday.